people would ever say this, but I think it's Clay Thompson because he is the mentally and physically what? toughest Golden State Warrior. He's the guy you can count on when the chips are really down. And I told Shannon this earlier, Chris, in the show, but I know a Warriors insider I've known for a long time, and he said, we're, we're playing joyless basketball right now. Nobody's having any fun. Kevin is not having any fun. Steph continues to live down to his reputation as a two-time MVP in the postseason. He's never quite lived up. I can go back to 2016 when Iguodala came on to win the MVP, though you made a case you still thought it should have been Steph. But look at games five, six, and seven in 20, what was that? 16, 16. when he lost, yeah. yep. And look at Steph's numbers. He was just horrible. He was really horrible in the game seven. That, that there's no, They had no business losing to the Cavaliers at Oracle in, in game seven when it was LeBron and Kyrie who took the game over late. And the other night, Steph was one for seven in the first quarter from three. I mean, in the first half from three. And the other night, Kevin Durant was just a no-confidence mess again. I've never seen him play like this, where he's just lost his way, his feel, his touch. His, it, it looks like he's lost interest in some ways. I don't know if he, he sometimes he goes through off the court distractions. I don't know if he has too many investments. I don't know if he just got his ring last year and his Finals MVP, and he proved what he needed to prove, leaving Russell Westbrook. And it's just he's just not as driven as he used to be. But Clay Thompson always sacrifices for this team. Whatever it needs on offense or especially on defense, he does it. And the other night, there's no way they survived without him playing the defense he played on James Harden and making, as Holly pointed out, nine threes? Yeah. Seven were, were with one-second catch and shoots, which is some fourth-level record for, <laughs> for making threes with one second or less, get, getting it away. And to me, this team... In the end, it'll go as he goes on one side of the ball or the other. And I can tell you, games against my Spurs, he'll just take people out of the game. He'll take Tony Parker out. He'll take Patty Mills out, where they're the spark plug, and he just shuts them down. And Steve Kerr made a powerful point the other night. Nobody's in better shape than this guy is. I know LeBron gets a lot of uh, right. uh, attention for his shape, and he deserves it. But in this case, this guy runs all night long because he's running off screens like yeah. crazy on offense. And then he runs on defense, and he did a number on James Harden. So the guy I would trust the most tonight in the hostile environment would be Clay Thompson. We don't, we don't agree much, Skip Bayless, yeah. but we absolutely agree right. on this. Okay. Because not only is he giving it to you offensively, but he has the toughest defensive assignment. Always. Guard James Harden. Mm -hmm. And normally what you do, your best offensive player, he would not dare set foot in front of the best, opposing team's best offensive player. So you're asking him... And he has James Harden shooting 31% in the fourth quarter in this series, 19% from three. And it was him, 21 second half points. Game one, 16 second half points. Mm -hmm. And Skip, arguably the biggest game of his career was game six of the Western Conference Finals in 2016 mm -hmm. when oh, he yeah. went to OKC yeah. and he lost that his mind shooting big. threes. That, that was a big so, they were in big. And yeah. They were in a yeah. heap of trouble. Yeah. And it was him yeah. that's like, oh, no, we're not losing tonight. What they ask him to do on a nightly basis, he's guarding the best point or two guard of the opposing team. So he's going to have to guard Dame Lillard or C.J. McCollum. He's going to have to guard Russ. He's going to have to guard James Harden. So you ask him to do that, but, oh, yeah, bro, we're going to need you to chip in and give us those 20 points, and we're going to need five of those from the three-point line. So that's what we need you to do. Because right now, do you let me ask you a question, Chris. I mean, you've been covering this game how about 20 years? Over 20. Over 20 years. years. Skip's been doing it for 40 years. You think there's a chance that LeBron James could have been the third leading scorer on his team and his team win by 25? Because that's what KD did. KD was the third leading scorer on his team on Saturday, and they won by 25. You know why? Because when you got those two guys, but y'all making a comeback, Chris. Y'all mm. used, oh, used to be at your, We back. Yeah, yeah. The life gift. We back. Yeah, by, yeah. Y'all come back, Levine. We wrapped it straight. KD was oh, we also the finals MVP. <laughs> yeah. And KD made the shot of shots in the finals hey, right in LeBron's hey, face. All right, let me, let me yeah. settle this. Look, because I love Clay. I'm with you guys defensively, offensively. Love his attitude. Because he don't doesn't care. care. Exactly. Doesn't, doesn't care, care about the accolades. Too. He doesn't care. Yes. He doesn't make any waves about it. He's going to be, I, you know, it looks like the reports are that he's going to stay, resign with Golden State. He's going to be this dynasties if they go ahead and win. 
James Worthy. Yeah. That's what he is. He is going to be a Hall of Famer, just mm -hmm. tremendous. I hope he stays. However, the most valuable, most important Warriors player is the same one it's been for this four-year run, and that is yeah. Steph Curry. And the reason that the Warriors are in dire straits right now, the reason they're in danger of losing, is because they've lost that identity. They have gotten away from the free-flowing ball movement, pass-happy offense that is rooted in Steph Curry. They, and now they, they're playing iso ball through Kevin Durant too often. And it's largely on KD, but it's not just him. Steve Curry, you're the head coach. You got to pull rank. At some point, this is not working. He did pull him to the side. He though, talked to about him about Jordan, yeah, yeah. but this isn't working. And some of it's on the players, the teammates, because how many times, especially in game five and earlier, do we see Clay or Steph at half court just give it to Durant at, in the middle of the, you know, the, the court and then run off to the, to the side, side and looking for him to do something? So, and then Houston has a lot to do with it because when you switch yeah. everything, it baits you into playing ISO so, basketball. Right. And, and the numbers bear it out. Steve Kerr has been a stickler for the magic number is 300 passes per game. Yeah. They average 323 in the regular mm -hmm. season. This series, 271 passes a game. They just don't pass. They, right? it, because they're getting baited into playing too much mm -hmm. ISO through Kevin Durant. Now, when they go through Durant, they're still elite. Yeah. They're still as good as Houston, Cleveland. They're one of the better teams. But they're not special. Right. When they play through Steph, even though KD's a better player, and Clay is obviously better both ways, but when they play through Steph, everything opens up and they become special because the defense has to adjust to this guy at 40 feet from the basket. So I think Steph, notice the sec, notice game six. That's a prime example. In, in first half, it's a tough game. KD has six isos in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Second half, they begin playing through, K, through Steph. Steph's bringing it up, not KD anymore. They're moving the ball. KD had four isos over the last three quarters of game six, and we saw what happened. They looked like the old Golden State. The great thing about Kevin Durant is you don't have to feature him. You can just include him, and he'll get you 30. Yeah. They need to feature Steph and include Durant, and Durant's going to do his thing, and they're going to play their ball. If they, if they go back to this iso heavy thing through Durant, as great as he is tonight, then they can lose. I, I need to give props where they're deserved to P.J. Tucker. He is physically intimidating Kevin Durant. I'm ser I've never seen anything like it before. He is knocking him off his spot. He's getting up underneath him, and Kevin is a little gun shy. He's, he's falling backward. He, he doesn't feel comfortable anymore. And the other thing is, Chris Paul was getting up into Steph Curry before he went out, so maybe now you're, you're open to move a little more freely. Right. But, but the offense you're describing is the regular season offense. I haven't seen it as much in the postseason. I, I think it, see, I think it opens things up for Clay when, when they go through Steph, you know, and I think that's what happened in the second half. But you're right, not having Chris Paul there was a big the lug The great luxury that the Warriors have is that when they're not making shots, is that you do have seven foot Kevin Durant who can ISO, who can post you up and shoot over the top of anybody. But if you look at the first half, Skip, Kevin Durant was minus 15. It's terrible. He was minus 15. Yeah. Steph, Clay, was, it, uh, Steph was terrible. He's one for seven from three. Yeah, but, but, it, but still, he was like he made some shots. He was one for seven, but he was six of 13 overall. What was his plus K, minus? It was, uh, minus one. Yeah, so. KD, KD in the first half was three of 11, one for three, minus 15. It was Clay and Steph, Steph that wouldn't let it, the— It was Clay. He just war, said no. But that was the Rockets. They could get careless with the ball. And yeah. all of a sudden, they like they're the Harlem Globetrotters. They think they try to make every pass. <laughs> but it's see the reason why I like Clay is that it takes a special kind of guy to be on the team because we all love credit. And he's basically okay. I'm the third wheel, but he has the toughest defense assignment every night. He never gets to take a night off because the point. This is the deepest point guard field we've ever seen, and it's deep. He has to guard him. Yeah. Well, if you got a great two guard, he has to guard him. And they still ask him, yeah, we need you to guard Harden. We need you to slow down Westbrook or Dame Lillard. 
but we also need them 29. So don't forget mm -hmm. about that. Don't think you can lock them up and not give it to you. But they end up switching Steph on to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, the opponent always runs what, to they, Steph and switches and gets Steph on Because they try, they try to pick. Yeah, right. yeah. Every, mm. That's the whole thing. Everybody's offense is pick. Whoever Steph is on, come in and fit the high pick. So on. Shannon Sharp. Yes. Who do you want to play in the finals? Houston, Golden State. I don't play over there. I ain't got Whoever. no preference. Wrong. He wants Houston. Wrong. He, knows he, he wants, wants Houston. Houston. You I know want him over there. Yeah, I, I want Houston. him. And Skip, you have to admit this. Mm -hmm. The greatest player in the game today is no longer up for debate. No, I. You, it's you, not, you not Kevin Durant. Durant. You know that. On Friday. I, I heard you killed him. Okay, I killed him. But did you admit Kevin, that LeBron's the best player? Yeah. Okay. I needed to see LeBron last night after that game five. Well, hold game. up. So what about game six? Kevin Durant. Well, no, that was happened on Friday night. We were talking on Friday's show. Okay, so I can't do it I until did, I see it. No, you can't. You could can tweet well, it. I tweeted that <laughs> night. Did you tweet it, LeBron? And, and by the way, I called his line almost exactly for game six that was also. That was Why you didn't call me? Seven. Why did you call and tell me? I need it. I don't want to hear you. I have to put up with you all week. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Chris, thanks for joining us. We love having you, but we need that seat available because NBA champion Jason Terry is here. We'll get